To get started using Google Sheets, the first thing you'll want to do is have your drive open and then go click on New in the top left corner and choose Google Sheets. Once your Sheets is open, you'll notice it's a typical spreadsheet, much like Excel. If you're not familiar with this tile, it has rows of A, B, C, D, E, etc., and columns numbered down. First thing I want to do is title it, so I'm going to call it Class Pets. I can then put the name or the title for the, the column, so um, student name. And if they have a pet in their house, um, I want them to tell me that. So I'm going to put dogs, how many dogs do they have, and how many cats do they have. So those are my titles. I can click on that row or, and go and bold the whole row at one time. I can even underline the row at one time if I want to. So I can do Command U or Control U and find my underline function. And that way I can have, you know, kind of a title row. I can also click on that row. If I click on the one, it highlights the whole row. And I can change it to a different color. I might want to make them centered titles like that. I want to make my title row, let's say we want to make it a light blue. So there's our title row. Now we're going to take our students, we're going to pull our students in some way. So let's just pretend we're a small classroom in early childhood or something as an example. And I'm going to start typing everybody's name. So we have John and Susan and Karen, Riley, Amelia, Reed, and let's see who else should we have one more, um, Bailey. So we're just going to put maybe one or two more. Let's see, Ron, um, Sarah, Mike, and Matthew. So there's our students. It's a very small class. And we're going to be polling them to, to see how many dogs and cats they have. Now this could also be coming out on a form or something like that, and it automatically could generate a spreadsheet. But for now, we're just going to say John has one dog, no cats. Susan has nothing. Karen has two dogs and one cat. Riley has no dogs and two cats. Amelia has one dog and no cat, and etc. We're just going to go on and do a few more. Four dogs, that's a big house. And let me just get a couple more here. We'll do one, one, two, and zero just to go quickly and fill it in. One. Zero, two, one. And once again, if I highlight a whole column, I can again apply formatting to it. And I can highlight it and hold the shift key down and get a couple of columns. And then I can make these be centered as well if I wanted to. So there's my spreadsheet. I've entered my data. I have my titles. I've entered my data. I could have gone and done it in the first row. I just skipped a row for visual effect. So now, one of the things you can do that's so awesome with spreadsheets is you can quickly calculate things. So maybe I want to see who has the most pets. So let's make this be our total, total pets. So I'm going to take John, and I know John has one dog and, and zero cats. So I could quickly just say that's one, but I could also click in where I want this total to be and go up to my function, which is right here, and I could pull down to sum. Once I do that, if I just drag over the two cells, these are called cells, that I want to make that sum to be the add-ins, it will enter the B3 colon C3. That's my range that I wanted to calculate the sum for. I could type this, the formula manually, but I could just simply drag and put return. And now I see I have, he has one. I can quickly take that same one, that same formula, and hold on to this little one I highlight, hold on to this little dot here and pull it down and now it'll give me the totals for all my rows. It's copied that formula and I don't have to do it for each row. So that's a quick way to do my total parts. I can again center it if I want to, or total pets I mean. And now maybe I want to do the averages. So I'm just going to put this in caps to see what the average number of pets is. So I could also take this and maybe I want to see how many, what the average dogs, cats, and total pets are. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on a cell. Once again, go to function and pull down to average. And again, I can just drag the columns, the um, different cells in the column that I want to be calculated into that average. 
let go and push return. So it has gone on and given me a decimal point here. I can format that number to be whatever I want. So it can just be um, a whole number, you know, whatever I want it to be. I'm just going to, you know, I can adjust it so it's not six decimal points or whatever. And then again, I can just grab that little corner with the dot and pull it across. And now we have the average for everything. So we see we have more dogs than cats and that they have almost a total of two for each um, of the households. It's an average of two pets per household. So that's a quick way to do some math there, uh, which is really cool. So you're looking at that data. This ties right into a lot of your standards, analyzing data. And it can be done from a very elementary age up to a very high level, a high school and call it and beyond age. And it has, there are advanced functions you can do, um, use with this as well. If you go across, there's also add-ons that you can add uh, to sheets to make it even have more functionality. Uh, you can now even do statistics in Sheets. So there's a statistics add-on that you can use. But the other cool part I just want to show you quickly is maybe you want to make a chart. And we want to see how many, you know, maybe you want to see who has how many dogs. So I'm just going to highlight this. I mean, I could highlight them all, but for time's sake, I'm just going to do one. And insert a chart. So here's my chart. And it gives me all different kinds. So it shows me who has dogs. I could have it be a pie chart. I could have it be, you know, a line chart like this. Whatever kind of chart I want, I can create. There's even more here. If I go to chart types, I can see that I have more options. And then in customization, I can go in here and customize colors. I can give it a title. And go on and make more customizations here. So I can insert that chart. And there's my chart. I can now grab it and I can move it around. I have the ability to view it in different ways. And I can go back and quickly edit it. So there's my chart. Um, and so it's a quick way to actually you know, collect data, assess data, analyze data, and then make charts and graphs from it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Great tool to use in the classroom at all different levels. There are lots of tutorials on YouTube, and you can also look in the Google Education Training Center to find more tutorials on using Google Sheets.